Welcome back guys. So today we are going to do another episode in this series about making smalls, the power of making smalls, how much profit that there is in making smalls. So to anyone out there that's new to the channel, what this series is about is just about how you can start off with smaller items and still make a ton of profit. You do not have to have the fanciest equipment to start with to make money. So today I'm just gonna show you some more ideas that I've seen online that I think that would sell, that I think that would be hot. So lately there has been other content creators that have disagreed with me about selling smalls and that is completely fine. I can only tell you what I know from experience. I started off with a $10 box saw. I mean, that was for the saw and the miter box combo. That's how I started and worked my way up. So this is what I know. There is plenty of profit and money to be made in making smalls. So to each their own, I'll let you decide that. But I have personally received hundreds of emails from people with success stories about selling these items. I'm gonna give you a quick example. Brad posted these on Marketplace and sold 34 in the first 24 hours. That's money, that's profit. So check these kiddos out. Super proud of these guys and this is what it's about. So these kids qualified to go to a national quiz competition through the local church. So they wanted to figure out a way to raise the money to pay for this trip. So they seen one of the small ideas from one of our previous videos. They sat down, they decided exactly how many they needed to make to pay for the trip and they made those. To this date, they have sold 60 of these at $20 a piece and they have made enough money to pay for this trip. That is what it's about. That is awesome. And the best thing of all is the material that they used came off of an old deck. They seen it laying around the neighborhood, they picked it up, and with the help of their parents, made these awesome items. So, so that's just an example of proof that there is money in making smalls. So again, super proud of these guys and their parents, and this came into the brag board. I received a ton of pictures this week, so I'm gonna put it towards the end, that way I can blow it up and kind of fill up the full screen. Scroll down, and that way you guys can maybe get some ideas from some of these other people. You guys are rocking it out. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure to smash that subscribe button and follow for more. So this is an example of wall decor, but it's functional wall decor. This is actually to hang coffee mugs on. This is a really cool idea. And the reason why I chose this one is because we have been using a lot of fence pickets for projects. Perfect for this. That's all you would have to do is lightly whitewash some of the fence pickets, maybe cut some different sizes. It doesn't look like it's very thick around the edges and you could probably make this out of a couple of pickets, if even that. This one they had for sale for $75. It does look like that they have routed out the lettering in this, but you do not have to do that. What I would probably do is just order some stencils and paint this out. But even if you were to sell something like this for $50 a piece, ton of profit. So last week we talked about how baskets were in. You know, people love any type of basket. They've taken the concept of the basket and also a crate, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Super neat idea, it's functional, it's rustic. You could do it in a ton of different types of styles. You could actually use fence pickets for something like this, but if you were to use them, make sure not to get anything that is treated because this one is actually a functional piece of decor and you don't want any type of food type things around treated material. You could build this whole thing out of one untreated fence picket or to be on the safe side if you wanted to use furring strips you could also do that as well and what it's going to come down to is distressing techniques and the lettering that's going across the front of that again stencils but this would be a super easy item to sell and you could sell a ton of them especially if it was staged up like this people will spend money on functional decorations now I know that this is not necessarily a small, but it is something that is easy to make. And this again is made out of pallet wood. Anything that you can make out of pallet wood, you can make out of fence pickets. And right now that's kind of what we've been hitting on just because the price of the material. There is one thing that people do not like, and that is to have their trash bins just sitting out. So if you have trash pickup, instead of just having your trash bins sitting out, you could put them in something nice like this. That way when people pull up, they're seeing something creative. These will sell. People want to cover up any any type of an eyesore outside of their house. And the cool thing about something like this is that it does not have to be perfect. You can actually see the face nails on this. It's because it's rustic. And especially if it's sitting outside, it's going to get weathered. So all of that's going to blend in and just add character to it. Super easy to put together, super easy project. And you would be surprised at what someone would pay for something like this. And I just thought this was super cool. So again, this could easily be a picket project. You know, it actually looks like that's what they use. You could do this out of furring strips, anything farm related, especially in areas that farmhouse is in. They have it hanging, but it would also be super cool just sitting on the counter. You could pick up these fake eggs and even the stenciling like we had discussed online, easily mass produce these things and sell them for 30 or 40 bucks a piece. And what a lot of people do not realize is that people that live in the country do not refrigerate farm fresh eggs. So if 
if they purchase farm fresh eggs that have not been refrigerated, they will typically set them on their counter until they are washed. Okay guys, so shutters. Any type of shutters. Shutters are popular. They are using these as a type of wall art, but you could actually make shutters for people's houses if you wanted to. I actually made every shutter that goes around my entire house out of furring strips. And that's what they use for this project. But they're just using this for decoration. It can go outside, it can go inside, wherever. It looks like some four inch furring strips as well as some maybe inch and a half, two inch furring strips, and you can cut those down. But these are super simple to make and people love them. Now this is where the distressing techniques are gonna come in again. It looks like they did not do a whole lot of distressing to these, they just stained them. And they look awesome. Definitely check these out and add these to your arsenal. Now this really caught my eye. Actually, this was on Amazon. So in a previous video, I've already taught you how to make these fake beams. So this is just standard three quarter inch pine. You can pick it up at any big box store. And it almost looks like that they are taking some type of string light that people are putting around like their porches and things like that and actually use those which would be awesome because they are already pre-wired. So you could make something like this. You would have to find the ones that had the longer drop downs like that, but you could make something like this for relatively cheap. Again, this is really not considered a small, but this is something that we've already covered in the past, but with just adding some lights to it, you have created something that has a super high profit. This is another super cool piece of wall decor, okay? So this is like a keychain holder. They've tried to make it look like that it was made out of tobacco sticks. It wasn't. This material is a half of an inch to maybe five eighths thick. Fence pickets again. Okay, they just use a brown stain. They left the saw marks in. They, they did not do a whole lot of sanding. To hang the keys on, they just used horseshoe nails. So you can make this for under four bucks and you see what they're selling it for. Anything in the shape of the state that you live in will sell. People love supporting their state. You see it all the time. It caught my attention because it was different. Oftentimes you see the outlines of states, mine's Kentucky, so you see the outlines of states as wall art. What they've done is the reverse. They box this in and just put a little piece of tin behind it. You do not have to use that tin, but that tin is cheap. You can get an eight foot section for like 20 bucks. So you could make tons and tons and tons of these, but you do not even have to use that. You can put a different color wood behind that. Even if it's plywood, you know, stained a different color, you can put that behind it to set that off. This whole project can be done with a drill and a jigsaw. So if you just trace out the state, you can probably get online and print out any state shape. They trace it onto this material, drilled a hole wide enough for a jigsaw blade, and then everything was cut out with a jigsaw. So with just a couple of tools, they have made something that they are selling for $60 a piece. Now this one caught my attention. Anything that is end grain, we covered like the end grain coasters, you know, of the four by fours. End grain always just creates a neat effect. This is just two by twos. That's all they have done is they have taken two by twos and sliced them down and glued them to a piece of thin plywood. So you could even take a quarter inch plywood, cut these down into half inch little slices and just start gluing them on. And they've used a dark stain on this just to kind of make that grain pop. And the cool thing is, is they do not even have to be the exact same thickness. You can make them different thicknesses and give it dimension. I think that that would make it actually look better. The one thing that I do not like about this particular product is the lettering across the top. So they've just taken some lettering, probably bought at Hobby Lobby and glued those on. I think if you took that off and just had the little key hangers without keys being actually written across the top, it would look 10 times better and sell like crazy. This particular company is actually getting 60 bucks a piece for these. And if you decided to ship, they would be easy to drop down into a flat rate shipping box or package ship it on out. Again, like we discussed, people will spend money on their children, their grandchildren, and their decor for their rooms. This would look awesome in a little girl or a little boy's room. It's just a heart that they have cut out of. This one's actually made out of pallet wood. Again, you can use different materials to do this. This was originally most likely a square. They just traced out a heart and took a jigsaw to it. When you're dealing with putting together smaller strips like this, most of the time you will glue this down to a piece of thin plywood for being made out of pallet wood and a little bit of distressing, this thing turned out awesome. What caught my eye was the price and the number of sales that this person had had. This heart is 18 inches and they're getting $118 a piece out of these. And the craziest part of it is that this person has had 8,500 sales. 8,500 sales out of items that have been made out of pallet wood. 
profit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have taken something away from this video. I hope that you can do like others and actually take this information, build upon it, add to it, put your twist to it, and sell these items. There is a ton of profit to be made in smalls because you can make them in bulk and you can make them without a bunch of fancy tools. I've gotten so, tons of comments. This is not my style. This is not my gig, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't matter. Whenever you're making items to sell, it's not what you like, it's what the customer will like. So what is hot, what is in, we've talked about all of this. So you may have seen a couple of things there that are like, eh, I don't like that, I wouldn't have it in my house. Well, so what? There's a ton of people that would love to have it in their house. My style is completely different than yours. Everyone has a different style. And that's why you make different types of items that will fit any type of style that comes your way. So like I said earlier in the video, our brag board is going crazy. And if you would like to contribute to that, I'll drop the email into the description. But these are some of the pictures that people have sent to me. I'm getting tons and tons of pictures of things that people have built and sold and grown with. They are proud of these items and that is awesome. So let's keep this momentum moving forward. The brag board's going crazy. Our Patreon community is growing. So until next time, guys, go out there, make some of these smalls, try out different things and make some money. But what I want you to do is to take at least one thing that I showed you today and add your twist to it. Do not copy it, but just add your twist to it and make something creative. So until next time, guys, see ya. So this, so this, thing if I can hear the popping noises behind me. So a lot of the projects that are <coughs> gone. Alright, ready to rock.